Good morning guys and welcome to another episode of Smoop's Adventures. We are on the sunny island of Bonaire in Dutch ABC Islands. Uh, we just picked up a uh, premium golf cart from Bonaire Cruisers. We're going to take it around the island and uh, see some beautiful sights on this island. So come along with us. So on Isla Mujeres we have the uh, Topes and uh, here in the ABC Islands they are called uh, Drempels. Drempels. <laughs> Let up Drempel. We're starting by making our way south on the island. To see what our first point of interest is. Our first stop here is Bonam or Bachelor's Beach. It looks like a fantastic place to snorkel. Look at the color of this water. I mean, just. Yeah, this is amazing. This is like uh, this is like a walk-in dive site and uh, the water looks gorgeous. So Jennifer's gonna jump in and do some snorkeling. I'm gonna sit up here with the golf cart and her stuff. I'm tired of always see the better And people are the things that matter But I never could have thought the dagger In my back it was you that location what did you see very nice lots of, once I swam out lots of little colorful fish yeah all kinds well, I'm sure they'll get better as the uh, day progresses <laughs> no turtles though but some really pretty little fish let's move on to the next spot So here we, we've made it to the Cargyle Salt Ponds and this is where they pump in seawater and they allow the seawater to evaporate and it leaves behind the salt and as it evaporates the water changes different colors depending on the salt concentration. So it's not always pink like you see in the pictures but I think we lucked out and uh, today it looks pretty pink. So let's check it out. So uh, we've arrived at what's known as the Salt Pier. This is a very popular dive site. Uh, they do night diving here and everything. And there's these pylons. I'll turn you around and show you. All along these pylons here, uh, there's a good good spot for the sea life. You see a lot of turtles here. So I'm gonna send Jen in the water, and uh, hopefully she sees something worth seeing. So while Jennifer's out there uh, snorkeling under the pier, I'm sitting here in the, the golf buggy just watching our things. I'm not comfortable with uh, leaving a bunch of stuff unattended in this in this vehicle. It doesn't have anywhere to lock it up, and even if it does, I've heard stories about uh, you know, people making off with their stuff, even if you uh, lock it in the car. So, and uh, man, I'm just not feeling up to, up to doing the snorkeling, but hopefully Jennifer comes back and reports some awesome sights at the salt pier. There she is out there. One of the must-haves on these rocky beaches are these Sequay water shoes. How was it? Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Didn't spot any turtles, but I saw it must have been millions of really colorful fish. Well, good, good. So there you have it. The salt piers at Bon Air, guys. It's beautiful. Spectacular. Uh, well, you ready to go on to the next spot? Absolutely. Let's go. So one more stop that we made here is uh, presumably the Cargyle Salt Beach because they have the Cargyle Salt sign. It's the one with all the palm trees. We stopped here to uh, take a couple pictures on the beach of Jan and her swimwear. So check that out on our uh, Patreon page. Yeah, so we just found a little spot where we could pull over next to one of the salt ponds and uh, the foam. Well, I guess the water's so salty it's foaming. <laughs> this is interesting. Yeah, it's very cool. Taste it. No. 
So that's another thing. This isn't the salt that you uh, that you use for cooking or in your food. This is the salt that you usually find like in water softeners and uh, swimming pools and stuff of that nature. It's like an industrial salt. But, this is where it comes from. That's right. Cargyle Salt Company, Bon Air. Wow. Cool. All right. We're going to continue on our adventure of Bon Air and see where else the day takes us because hey, we're very new to this island. This isn't like Isla Mujeres where, you know... <laughs> We know everything. I know our way around everywhere. So, it's a big stone obelisk. And by the way, guys, if you are familiar with Bon Air and we miss something or say something stupid yeah, or we don't know. know, tell us in the comments. Set us straight because we're learning. Yeah, we're, we're moving. So. Yeah. Hey. All right, on to the next one. So, something a little less exciting the white slave huts. These huts were constructed in 1850 during the slave time and served as camping facilities for slaves working in these salt ponds to collect and ship salt, one of Bon Air's most important ex expert products. Uh, these huts were used as sleeping quarters and place to put away personal belongings of the working teams. And uh, really, really small, not much, not much to them. I'm going to show you just how tiny these living quarters were. I'm five foot five, so let's go inside. Gotta be very careful. As you can see, it's very small, very, very small. That's the doorway. My head almost touches the beams. So if you were high, taller than five foot five, man, not a lot of room in here. Can I stand up in here? Oh man, Eric, watch your head. Oh yeah. It's uh, oh, they're hot in here too. It is hot. Imagine if somebody had BO or gas. That would not be fun. Sure. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's get out of here. Oh my. Oh. So yeah, some of the less uh, positive parts of Bon Air, but you know, thankfully these things are nothing more than a tourist attraction anymore, and all that stuff is uh, behind us as. Uh, as a as a human humanity, you know. All right, All right. I see some uh, kite surfing in the distance. I think Ooh. eventually we're gonna make our way down to Sorabon, which is a popular kite surfing beach. So off we go. Storing Lighthouse. That's right. This is, uh, I don't think we can go. It no, says keep it out on the out. door. It doesn't say we can go up in this one, but uh, yeah, we can check it out. He's standing so still. I'm wondering if he's even real. Is the donkey friendly? Yeah. Hey, donkey. I think I are you tired of having cameras stuffed in your face? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm looking at this placard. It says, Lighthouse Willem Storn. This lighthouse, known locally as Torney Suit, the Lighthouse of the South, is the first lighthouse on Bonaire. It was built in 1838 to ensure safe navigation for ships sailing from Bonaire to Curacao. As in those days, ships often ran aground along the East Coast. In January 1825, the ship William and Ezra, a North American brig ship, ship <laughs> stranded along the southeast coast of Bonaire near the area known back as the La Cray Ponte and Punta de la Or. The entire corner of Bonaire's coast is also referred to as Sedusic, which is derived from the Dutch meaning for the southeast corner. Cool. Yeah, that's a uh, yeah, that's a pretty uh, impressive lighthouse, and the, the donkey is just uh, oh, there's some more donkeys over there, babe. Wow, and we will continue on our exploration of Bon Air. I'm looking forward to Sora Bon Beach.
So we've arrived here at Sorbon Beach and it is even more gorgeous it just yeah. gets prettier and prettier we haven't even seen the whole thing yet we just saw pulling in a little bit but this is the place that i was most looking forward to so we found a place to park it looks like a whole bunch of different places to go we're going to figure it out uh there's an observation tower we're going to take you there first and then we'll figure out where to go from there hello folks it's beautiful at 360 degrees so here on this part of the beach but it's so beautiful <laughs> look, look at a jen's reaction that's great oh, this gives playa norte, norte, norte a run for its money wow. yeah so now here the beach is all protected they have signs that say no entry because it's part of the seagrass restoration but well, we're gonna head up to uh, Sebastian's, the gentleman where we walked onto the beach, uh, was very kind and helpful and told us to head up to Sebastian's to get something to, to eat and drink and uh, to use the facility. So we're gonna head that way. Somebody's smiling. It's just, this is, wow, out of this world, amazing. Mm. Well, we need to find a ladies room and... Yeah. That's pretty cool, the bar is shaped like a boat. The bar is a boat. All right. While Jen was freshening herself up in the bathroom, I took a couple minutes to marvel at how fast these guys go on these wind surfers. You feel better? Yeah. Yeah. Now a little wardrobe change to be more comfortable. I ordered us a couple bottles of water. Okay, good. Sure. So that was really weird. We uh, walked into this place and I was standing in there for a good 10 minutes and I was trying, I asked three people for bottles of water. I finally got somebody to buy the water from for six dollars for two bottles of water and she took off took another 10 minutes to make my change and then took another five minutes to come back with the water uh, don't get thirsty here but it's beautiful uh, there goes Jan in the water again true mermaid so we got ourselves a couple of seats uh, right here in front of the Sebastian's on Sorbonne Beach I'm gonna chill out here, drink a bottle of water, and then move on to the next spot. Blue dude, blue moon, kind of mysterious, shaded by someone I'm not really into. Do you need to fix it? Talking bullshit. So we had a nice time sitting at Sebastian's for a little while and then uh, Jen spotted a, a little beach shop. We're gonna see if see if we can find her a pair of, what are you looking for? Another pair of board shorts. Yeah, this place looks nice. Alina's Toys. We can borrow the toys. This looks like a little boutique. Yeah, they might have surf, you know, they might have surf So it's actually a pretty nice uh, store. The lady was really nice and uh, I got myself a, a new rash guard, Bonaire Island Vibes. So it's a pretty good, reasonable price for a uh, rash guard. These sun shirts are, I'm finding them to be very, very comfortable. Uh, so much better than a t-shirt because they, you know, they're just a lot cooler and it actually, they have UV protection. So that's cool. We're gonna pop in Jive City and see if they have some board shorts. 
And they got a whole row of uh, shops and beach clubs and stuff here at Sorbonne. It's, this place is great. Look at this. Oh, they also have a pretty cool beach bar here. Here's the surf shop. Well, Jennifer didn't find anything she had to have in there. It's either extra small or extra large. Yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll keep looking, but I think we're going to head off and uh, grab some lunch at a really cool beach bar. So I'm going to head back over to the other side of the island. Sorbonne has been great. I, this was everything I expected it to be, and the main thing I was looking forward to uh, while visiting Bonaire. We got the flamingos right here on the side of the road, guys. These are very pink flamingos too, and they are only native to uh, South America, uh, Venezuela, and uh, here in Bonaire. And they do show up. You do see them in Curacao for, uh, when they go there to breed, but they are native to here. Very cool. Very cool. goats you can tell the difference between goats and sheep the sheep's tail is down the goat's tail is up the sheep aren't fluffy down here because it's too hot we made our way back across the island to Kralendike to have lunch at a very popular place called Carol's so we've arrived at the uh, Carol's beach bar we just need to find somewhere to park now so we drove around the block about three or four times uh, and wound up about a block away from the uh, the beach bar. We finally found a spot. Um, yeah, forget parking in downtown Crowlandite. I would recommend if you have a vehicle for the day, do everything away from downtown, drop the vehicle off and then come back because parking down here is insane. And we're the only cruise ship and we're a small cruise ship. I can imagine if you were in town and it was a large cruise ship, you know, with four or five thousand people on it, and they all wanted to rent a car. Yeah, that's, not happening. That's a big fat nope. <laughs> yeah, so lucky for us, we uh, we found a spot on the street. Hopefully, we don't get towed or ticketed or something. But we're gonna go get lunch. So this is the uh, Carol's Beach Bar. We've heard a lot about it, and seen it in a lot of other videos. We're gonna give it a try. They're doing construction right across the street. I mean, that's probably gonna be something new. And, uh, that's our boat in the background, so let's uh, come in and see what they have to offer here. This place looks nice. Hi, so just two of us for lunch, please. On the right side, the high table over there. The high top? Yes. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Awesome, so we got a nice high top in the shade. Hi, sir. This looks nice, huh? Gorgeous. Oh. Can we keep you from jumping in? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not, but I'm hungry, so let's check out this menu. I'm sure it's wonderful. The oldest restaurant on Bonaire. Yeah. Oh. So, Carol's. Beach bar, waterfront, oldest restaurant on Bonaire, let's see. Pretty uh, pretty big menu. They got a breakfast menu, lunch menu, sushi, seafood, burgers, steaks, platters, snacks, cocktails, desserts. They got it all. So I guess we'll uh, pick something out and eat up. Thank you. So I ordered a uh, breaded chicken sandwich, and uh, Jen ordered a poke bowl, but the sushi chef's not here. So what did you get instead? The Mexicana wrap. Mexicana wrap. Yeah, and she got a mojito, and uh, I'm gonna try the local beer, uh, Barasi. So this is the Brasa, which is the local beer. It's like an Amstel Bright. 
Sorry, they're doing construction. They're expanding the place. So. And Jen got the uh, mojito. Let's see how it is. Give it a taste. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, and that's like, you know, like a Corona or an Amstel Bright kind of nice light beer. So, Jen, you got the Mexican wrap. Avocado wrap, Mexican wrap. It looks, it smells amazing. Beef, jalapenos, French fries. Yeah. I am hungry. I got the uh, chicken. Oh no, bacon cheese. This lettuce and tomato. It looks good. I can't wait to dig in. I have no idea how This is really tasty. The food here is good. Is yours good? Delicious. All right, thank you so much. Mm. So, uh, was definitely worth the wait. That was very good. Yeah, it was very good food, but I will tell you if you're uh, if you're in a hurry, don't bother stopping here. We we spent a lot of time here uh, waiting, waiting just for drinks and then waiting for the food. But uh, and the view, it was worth the wait. The, the view, view is magnificent. That water, oh, right? Take but a it, look one more time. Oh yeah, look just at that. Look at this. It's like a pool. I was tempted to jump in. Eric had to stop me. Yeah, she would do it. <laughs> I would. So, but it, that is the uh, oldest restaurant on the island. So it's. Uh, and the food is outstanding. It is a must do. Look, we're gonna get back on our uh, our buggy and. Um, some turtles, hopefully. Yeah, we're gonna check out one more snorkeling spot today. beautiful drive up the coast guys you'll know when you arrive at 1,000 steps because you'll see all the cars parked here but yeah meandering along that little coastal road was beautiful <laughs> was it not wow and some of the homes to the right of us on that cliff oh, amazing. makes me not want to get back on the ship <laughs> well we're gonna walk down these uh, it's actually 67 steps not a thousand steps well we'll walk off that lunch yeah we're gonna walk off our lunch <laughs> and uh, we're gonna take a look and see what it looks like down there so come along with us Yeah, it's a beautiful beach and a great place to snorkel. What do you think so far? Beautiful. I have to get in the water and see. Yeah, can't wait to see what's in the water. So, what'd you see out there? Very beautiful snorkeling. Like tons, a reef? Yes, a reef and tons and tons and tons of fish. Cool. Very well, pretty. we're gonna head back up the stairs here. I think the reason they call it a thousand stairs or a thousand steps is because after you wear yourself out swimming down there, it feels like you're climbing about a thousand steps. <laughs> Wouldn't you say? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. It's worth it. It's great. It's beautiful. Look at this. Look at that. Yeah. formations the rock formations it's so pretty here well unfortunately our time is uh is running short so we're gonna have to get our uh, golf cart back to the rental and uh and get back on the windstar but uh 
Thank you guys for coming along with us today. Thank you so much. If you like the content, please subscribe. We got a lot more coming for you. Hit that bell notification. Remember, we got a Patreon page and an Amazon affiliate page. The links will be in the description. And uh, thanks again, guys. We will uh, see you in the next episode. That's right.